This is going to be a kneeling position to work on, once again, thoracic flexion and extension. Just something that, you know, if I'm at a, a gym or somewhere where I don't have anything I can use, I can do this just free on the floor, right? So I'm going to sit my butt back on my heels as much as comfortable because that keeps my lower back a little bit more flexed. Um, you could do it up here too if that feels better. Either one is okay. This one is probably a little better as long as your knees are okay with it. If it bothers you, you can always shove a, a pillow or a yoga mat. And this makes it more comfortable on the legs if you have a knee issue. Now here, I'm going to go through flexion and extension. So I'm going to have both my hands behind my head, right? Elbows, wherever they're comfortable. And I'm going to start by taking this hand away so you can see. And I'm just very lightly going to pull my chin in towards my throat and start to go into some thoracic extension, right? Now here, I'm going to try and keep this as long as I can. And then once I feel like to keep looking up, I have to let this go, I'll let it go and I'll let myself lean back a little bit. Now ideally, I'm trying to get a nice smooth curve through here where everything is extending, right? A lot of people tend to want to extend too much in this thoracolumbar junction or down in their lower back. Being in this position kind of helps to resist that a little bit. But as soon as you start to feel like there's a little pressure anywhere down through here, that's probably far enough because I don't have anything really supporting me except maybe muscles in my trunk. And then I'm going to initiate this coming down motion, bringing my chin down towards my chest and rounding forward. Now I tell people to measure this by where their elbows land, right? So as I come down into this flexion and I'm rounding forward, ideally I'm trying to get my elbows or my head between my legs. Initially, if I'm really tight, I may end up all the way out here, which is fine. And then from this position, I'm going to press my head into my hands to try and activate these muscles. As I come up out of the position, I'm keeping my chin tucked at the top, tucked as long as I can. And then once I can't keep it tucked, I let it go and I let myself look up. And I start to feel a little bit of pressure here, and that's where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to force the issue just to compress my lower back, right? So just so you can see it from one other angle from the front sitting back on my heels or up tall, either is okay. I'm gonna start by just tucking my chin, letting my chin and head go back. Once I feel like I can't keep this down, I'll let myself look up and I'll go back to where I feel maybe a little bit of pressure in my back. And then I'm gonna initiate this chin down towards my chest. I'm gonna round forward. And here I'm thinking about really trying to take my head between my legs to where I feel tight or uncomfortable. If I'm able to, I'll go all the way to the floor. And I'm going to press my head into my hands to activate those muscles to pull me out of that position. And like I said, from here, I want to try and avoid getting a lot of pressure in my back. And you'll see, if I let my pelvis kind of sway forward, that's going to put more compression back here. So if I do choose this tall kneeling option, I always tell people from my belt buckle, I want to lean back so I engage more of this sling of support here versus let my pelvis shift forward. And that's going to create more of a shearing or compression in my lower back. So as I do go back, I want to think about this staying where it is. And here, now as I go back, I feel a lot of tension and work. I may even start to quiver a little bit, which is good. And that will alleviate some of this compression that would happen if I just let my pelvis sag forward. So one more time, the full motion. Chin tucked. I go back. I'm even squeezing my butt a little bit for stability. And then it head rounds forward as I curl up into a ball, trying to get as deep into this thoracic flexion as I can.